A new book is about to be released that claims to expose President Donald Trump. The accounts have been called into question, not to stay silent about the controversy. Trump came out against the publication. He also made one big promise to his supporters. President Donald Trump took to Twitter to slam Bob Woodward's new book, Photo Credit, Gage Skidmore slash Flickr. Fear by Bob Woodard is not the first book to be published about the Trump administration. Earlier in the year, another journalist published a similar work. Fire and Fury was quickly dismissed by both the GOP and the media for its many factual flaws. That didn't stop many on the left for backing the book, simply because it slandered Donald Trump. Now, yet another writer claims to have the inside story about what really goes on in the Trump White House. Bob Woodard's book claims that top administration officials are constantly at odds with the president. Some question his ability to lead. The book points to White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and Secretary of Defense James Mattis. Both have officially come out to state the stories about them in the book are false. Numerous other White House officials have done the same. Yet has that deterred Woodard and his publisher from moving forward? Of course not. The fake news media controls much of the publishing industry. After all, they wouldn't miss an opportunity to mislead the American people about our president. Hey, they lie to us every day on the news, why not lie to us in book form? President Trump has refused to take this lying down. He came out on Twitter to bash Woodward's fake book and make a promise to America. President Donald Trump expressed fury with a forthcoming book by Bob Woodward about the early days of his administration, in a series of Monday morning tweets. The Woodward book is a joke, just another assault against me, in a barrage of assaults, using now disproven unnamed and anonymous sources. Trump tweeted, many have already come forward to say the quotes by them, like the book, are fiction, Dems can't stand losing, I'll write the real book. The Woodward book is a joke, just another assault against me, in a barrage of assaults, using now disproven unnamed and anonymous sources. Many have already come forward to say the quotes by them, like the book, are fiction, Dems can't stand losing, I'll write the real book. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, September 10, 2018 The president also tweeted analysis from a Washington Examiner reporter who appeared in a television segment saying, I'm taking this book with a grain of salt and everyone should do the same. Caitlin Corrale said, for Trump, multiple sources, but almost every one of them has come out and discredited the claims made by Woodward. You cannot take this book too seriously. Source, Daily Caller, it's pretty incredible in this day and age that a book can come out that's already been proven false. The book will be released on Tuesday, September 11th, the 17th anniversary of the World Trade Center attacks, by the way, but long before the book is out, the stories within have been exposed as lies. In the past, a publisher would have immediately withdrawn the book. Their reputation is on the line, after all. When numerous top White House officials discredit the book before it's even released, any decent publisher would cancel it, just to save face. Yet today, book publishers don't mind ruining their credibility by releasing a book everyone knows is full of lies. It tells you just how far gone the media and publishing world is. They hate our president so much, they don't care that they are release books of pure fiction about him. Much has been said about Trump's White House already. The media pushes fake news about it every day, citing unprovable anonymous sources. They want us to believe that our president's administration is in utter chaos. This, despite the amazing successes he has achieved in just under two years. Could a chaotic White House bring back millions of jobs? Could it slash regulation and taxes? Could a White House in such disarray broker peace with North Korea or land a massive new trade deal with Mexico? Could a White House in total confusion appoint and get confirmed a record number of federal judges? I'll let you answer those questions yourself. We will never know the true story until long after this administration is finished. When Donald Trump finishes his work and returns to private life, perhaps we'll get the true story. Trump is an accomplished and best-selling writer. A memoir about his time in the White House will be the biggest book to be published in decades. When he writes the book, you better believe the world will be reading it. Mad World News provides commentary on real news stories.